that you're showing you my suppose you could say off season meal plan. Um it is off season at the minute. My diet starts next week. So um it wouldn't really change drastically from what it is now, but you know, it's just less carbs, um peanut butter I'd probably sort of reduce that to half of what I'm having now. Um you know, it doesn't really change a lot my off season diet and my pre contest diet. Uh you know, I try to stay as lean as possible off season. So, you know, when it comes to dieting for the show, it's not going to be as hard as it would be if I put, you know, you see a lot of people off season, they um, they put really stupid amounts of weight on. And it's not all muscle, most of it's fat. I just don't see the point of doing that. I mean, you know, yeah, obviously you're going to get bigger off season because you eat more food, you train in there, you train get bigger for the year after or the year next. But I don't see the point of, you know, putting on so much fat. I mean, it's hard enough dieting for the show. I normally diet, you know, 12, 10 weeks. I don't think I need to diet that for that long. I mean, I've got a really fast metabolism, so, you know, I could probably get ready for the show in eight weeks, but only because I stay so lean off season. I mean, I'm not, I'm not stripped off season, but, you know, I don't put a lot of fat on and it makes it a lot easier. Uh, you know, like I said, people who go, you know, up to, people on stage who are, say, 14 stone on stage, off season, they may go up to, like, 17 stone, which means they've got to lose, you know, 3 stone in, in body weight to get ready for the show, and you're not going to do that in 12 weeks, that's going to take at least, you know, some people do it for, you know, 17, 18, 20 weeks, I mean, like I said, it's hard enough as it is dieting, especially when you're doing it for that long, so, you know, the less amount of time you can diet for, it's just going to make it a lot easier. Um, so yeah, like I said, that's my daily sort of meal plan. I eat that, you know, roughly those sort of meals, not exactly day to day, but, you know, off season, I'm still as strict on myself as I am pre-contest. I mean, I never miss a meal, you know, meals to me are more important than training. I'd rather have a good day of eating than have a good day of training. Um, so yeah, so I'll... You know, I'll post, my diet starts next week, like I said, so, you know, once I get into that, I'll, I'll post another video of my, um, I suppose it'll be sort of eight weeks out from my show, so, again, the diet won't be that strict, but, you know, I'll post a video of maybe six weeks out, just to see the difference between my off-season diet and my pre-contest diet. Um, it's not going to be a big difference, like I said, but, um, I'll post that video probably six weeks out, just... Just to see the difference between. I mean, I'm pretty, I'm pretty lean now, still off season. I mean, my last show was um, a month ago, maybe five weeks ago. And to be honest with you, two weeks after the show, when you know I did binge a little bit, I, you know, I had a lot of takeaways and I wasn't really strict. But that's when I looked the worst because you put loads of water on and you get bloated and you look terrible. Um, but. You know, I've sort of slowly got back into now. I started doing my cardio last week, um, half an hour, first thing in the morning before breakfast. And, you know, I'm still sort of pretty lean. I mean, like I said, there's not much difference between how I look uh, off-season and how I look pre-contest. I mean, obviously, I'm a lot sharper and more ripped on stage than I am off-season. But, um, you know, it's not just the fact that I don't want to put so much weight on. It's... You know, when you when you get that big, it's, it's hard to find sort of tidy clothes to wear. I know that's not really a big issue, but you know, I, I don't want to be buying sort of thirty six inch jeans just to wear off season, and then you know, I'm to buy new clothes when I die down for the show. Um, so yeah, I mean, you know, typical bodybuilder. You think of a bodybuilder, you think of the big baggy pants and the bean bag around the waist and the big baggy bodybuilding tops. I mean. That's, that's not how I dress. Um, you know, I still like to wear you know, tidy clothes and not look like, you know, big. And to look at me in normal clothes, you wouldn't think I trained. I mean, obviously, it's the long neck, you, know, you can see my chest and everything. But, you know, when, whenever I go out, I don't, I don't wear short sleeve tops or vests. So I don't see the point of it. It just sort of brings trouble. I mean, people see you in shape and they want to come on to you and, you know, ask you what you take in and all that bollocks. And I don't really want to, I can't be asked to deal with people like that. Um, 
So, you know, that's another reason why I, do, I find the punk just getting so big off-season. Because you find it hard to wear clothes and... It's just, it's just silly if you ask me. Um, but yeah, um, I'll post another video in a few weeks' time showing my pre-contest diet and how things are going from there and how I'm progressing. And um, I'm trying to get a training video up, but I train on my own, so it's hard for me to sort of film myself training. I may ask somebody to come to the gym and see if they're going to just follow me around a few training sessions just to, just to post a few videos on you. Um, so yeah, stay tuned on my, on my YouTube channel. I'll have some more videos um, shortly.